Corner. I'm Tash, and you're listening to Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. Today we're talking about Deathless Wind, our gone, but sadly not forgotten Prime Minister. It's strange to think that he was just another here today, gone tomorrow politician until his infamous London is drowning speech went viral. The forces of darkness he unleashed with that speech changed. Leave before I see you.
people. I'm moving up on them. Go on to call us. Search complete. Dead Sector prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Dead Sec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary... Finally, you made it. Safe. Here, your new optic. No going back now, I suppose. Guess once I join up, it's good fucking bye to my normal life. Tell me what's normal. Is it normal for the government to kill its own people? Yeah, I hear you. And I want to make a difference. It's just hard to give up and walk away from my life, you know? 
You aren't walking away from it. You are going to fight to protect it so it has a future. <sighs> right. Okay. I'm ready. Welcome to the Resistance. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SIRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? On my way. today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origin. All units, I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Control, we have an Over. officer down. Control, we are pursuing the suspect. Suspect is unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. All seen indoors during high risk hours. Return to HQ. This is pointless. service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylance and our tech hero as part of her techno utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist... Spread out! Someone's hacked this! Scan the area! ...and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my... Negative contact! Moving on! No one needs to get hurt! Just give yourself... This has been compromised. Be on the lookout for a hacker. I have a casualty. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everything.
Assemblies of over five humans will be disbanded. What? Seriously? Such a disgrace. Contact. Moving on. No sign yet. <sighs> Trespasser may have fled. I'll do a sweep. Looks clear. Gonna check our next area. This is not your time. We need to spread out. <laughs> clear, moving on. Area clear, moving on. Somewhere. Calm the area. There's a hack on boss. <sighs> You're clear. Gonna keep searching. Someone thinks they're funny. Find out who they are. Clear. Heading out. I'm certainly not too far off. <laughs> that. Shut it down.
Buccaneer, this is the bug. Hello, resistors, it's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good, that's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyse the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of a once free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion, uh, your friends and mine. Alice, the government has extended Albion's contract and have also boasted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, that's like having a pet dog, let's call it Nigel, for the dog, that attacks you every single day and thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be nice if Nigel had puppies? <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the neck of a politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> I'm not sure entirely how those contract extension negotiations went, probably like... I assume Albion's agent was leaking stories to the press about how our favourite private militia was tapped up by Barcelona. <laughs> the government panics and thinks, well, we better get them signed up before it's too late. But still, violent crime, a record low, although I imagine that probably depends exactly how you count it. If you include violent crime committed by the state, either themselves or by Albion, their chosen violent crime contractors, who provide such a very valuable bargain service of beating people up, well, it's probably not quite... It's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's how it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy and joining me... I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it. Uh, your friends of mine. Alice, the government has extended Albion's contract and have also boasted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, that's like having a pet dog, it's called Nigel, that attacks you every single day and thinking to yourself, if Nigel had puppies. <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the neck of a politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> Sure, I'll tell you how those contract extension negotiations went, probably, like, like, like a footballer. In the old days, I assume Albion's agent was leaking stories to the press about how our favourite private militia was being tapped up by... Barcelona. <laughs> the government panics and thinks, well, we'd better get them signed up before it's too late. But still, violent crime, a record low. Imagine that probably depends exactly how you count it. If you include violent crime committed by the state, either themselves or via Albion, their chosen violent crime contractors, control to all units. Possible hostiles near your location. Moving to the hostiles' location. Over. Suspect. Be advised, we are on the trail. Sir, 
search units disengage. This search is pointless. I went ahead and loaded the server into ride. It's up to you now. Be careful on the road, all right? That's precious cargo. I've driven tanks before. I think I can handle this. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles game. those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. All right, scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell, do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. Suspect. I'm still on that radar, Beckley. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them. Throw rocks at them. Destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer's complete. server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Go on. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! was fun, wasn't it? We pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. It's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyze the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of a once free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion, uh, your friends of mine. Alice, the government has extended Albion's contract, and has also voted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, that's what happened. <laughs> But attack you every single day. I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't it be nice if Nigel had puppies? <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the neck of a politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> I'm not sure entirely how those contract extension negotiations went, probably like, like, a, like a footballer. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are 
itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that dead sec are fighting along with them. That's fine. But I want to take the fight directly to those taking advantage. We got Albion PMCs goose-stepping across London, cracking skulls left and right. And Clan Kelly, they're preying on the most vulnerable. We need to take them out too. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. London needs defenders, and you look like you might be one of them. Shit, are you saying you're dead sec? I could really use your help. Possibly. What is the situation? Look, I really, really needed the money, so I took a few moving jobs for Clan Kelly. Moving contraband. Across borders, you follow? It started as just cheese and booze and shit. Easy money. But then one thing led to another, and now I'm a gun runner. There's a big deal happening soon, and I've got to move it or I'm dead. Go on. I'm so in over my head here. I don't even know where to start cleaning up this mess. But if you could just take out that arms shipment, that would at least give me a little space to think. Think you can do that? All right. We look into it. Cheers, mate. If you help me out with this, I'll owe you one. A big one. Is the bar. Hello, resistors. It's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyze the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of the world. It's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion. Uh, your friend of mine. Alice, the government has extended Albion's contract and have also limited to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, that's like having. single day and thinking to yourself wouldn't it be nice if Nigel had puppies <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times it's like the neck of a politician that's criticized the government <laughs> I'm not sure entirely how those contract extension negotiations went probably like, like, like a footballer in the old days I assume Albion's agent was leaking stories to the press about how our favorite private was being tapped up by the Barcelona <laughs> The government panics next week. It is eerie being here where so many died. These ruins are like an open wound for the city. Supposed to be abandoned and under repair, but crawling with fucking security. It don't seem right, does it? Good point, Bagley. Tell me what I'm looking for. Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal, it seems to be coming from within the rubble. 
Anyway, the moment you pick up a fruit knife, you get tasered by a robot policeman and deported for looking Bulgarian. <laughs> it's a much more peaceful society. It's just much less of a society. I want to know the details of the contracts. Alice, I mean, are they paid per... Di Very reasonable indeed. <laughs> um, I imagine they don't ask too much anyway. Album, because it's just so nice. <laughs> This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. It's taken a lot of damage. Any idea what it is doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access well enough data to build the AR reconstruction.
Perfect. Two more data relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Right. Got it. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? What? I think we'd go back for you. Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly dog. This clearly implicates Clan Kelly in the bombings. That was a handoff, which makes Clan Kelly the supplier. So who is this woman? Not part of Clan Kelly. I think she may be in Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking.
Bagley, see if you can determine who was controlling the Spider-Bot. I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Of course the fucking cops were watching. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. So what? You want me to quantum tunnel through it? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider-bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good idea.